I would say now that I can call myself a collector of Jazzmaster guitars. Six months ago, I was indifferent at best to the model of guitar, so this is a new thing. I now own six Jazzmasters of various makes and models. I think the Squire models of Jazzmasters, at the under $500 price point, are introducing the Jazzmaster to a new group of guitar players that have not been interested in the guitar really in the past. As a result, there is a resurgence of appreciation that's similar to when the punk and alt-rock players discovered the guitar in prior years. Sort of related, and something that I'm excited about, an example of Jazz Master guitars I've recently purchased is a 2023 Fender Troy Van Leeuwen Jazz Master in Oxblood finish. I have to say that this is a stunning guitar, and playability is equal to how the guitar looks. I'll do an on-the-bench video on this guitar soon. I've been reading about and seeing videos about the J Mascus Signature Squire Jazzmaster for a long while now. I recently decided that I was going to go ahead and get one for myself to see what it was all about. At first I was thinking about buying a new model, and in my research I found that prior to 2017 the guitar came with a rosewood fretboard instead of the present day Indian Laurel. Although you have to be careful when purchasing a 2017 model because sometime in 2017 it appears they started producing the guitar with an Indian Laurel fretboard. The guitar in general has a cult following and most definitely inspires a lot of conversations in the guitar forums. I jokingly report that it even has its own acronym of JMJM, which stands for J Mascus Jazz Master. Originally, I thought it was like Japanese made Jazz Master, but that's just me. Squire released the J Mascus signature model in 2011, and it was produced until 2021. After the guitar was no longer made, there was such an outpouring of requests for the guitar that Squire decided to re-release the guitar in 2023 and is in production today. The guitar has a basswood body and a C-shaped maple neck. Prior to 2017, they were released with a rosewood fretboard and post-2017, they were released with an Indian Laurel fretboard. The neck has a 9.5 inch radius and 21 jumbo frets. It comes with J Mascus selected high output single coil Squire Jazzmaster pickups, three position switching, and dual tone circuits. Gold anodized aluminum pickguard, aged white plastic parts, and a Justomatic bridge, which is similar to a Tunomatic bridge with vintage style floating tremolo tailpiece, vintage style tuners, chrome hardware, a vintage white finish, and the J Mascus signature on the back of the large 60s style headstock. Just like a normal Jazz Master, the J Mascus Jazz Master has two tone circuits. This consists of the lead circuit controls with the slide switch at the top horn down. This then makes the master volume for the neck and the bridge at the lower part of the guitar and the master tone as well as the three-way select switch start to work for pickups. If you slide the same switch and the top horn up, you're in the rhythm circuit controls. All the controls at the bottom of the guitar no longer function, and you use the two thumb wheel controls for the neck pickup at the top of the guitar. Use the guitar goes for 359 to about 474, but the pre-2017 models actually go for more. I've seen them go anywhere from about 499 all the way up to the 600s. A brand new model of the guitar goes for $4.99. I was on eBay and saw a seller who had a mint J Mascus Jazzmaster body for sale for a steal of a price, so I purchased it for maybe a project later. It took me a few weeks to find the guitar that I wanted. I finally zeroed in on a guitar that was playable but needed a little bit of work. I purchased it for a fair price, and when I got the guitar, I went over it. The first thing I noticed was the sounds of the pickups did not match any Jazzmaster guitar I had heard prior. I mean, it was to the point of being odd. When I took the pickguard off, I discovered why. The bridge pickup with the red dot was wired into the circuit as the neck pickup, and the neck pickup with the blue dot was wired into the circuit as the bridge pickup. Also, the tone pot does not appear to be original. I checked with the seller, and he told me that this had all been done prior to him getting the guitar, but would explain why the neck pickup sometimes could be shrill. 
The body had some dings and holes, so I decided that since I already had a mint body, I'd actually swap them out. Another observation was that the string height adjustment was fine. Either the guitar was already shimmed, or the neck and body were just really well mated, which is, I am learning, is unusual with a Jazzmaster guitar. When I pulled the neck off, there was no shim, which really pleased me. After replacing the kitchen sponges being used as the spacers for the pickups with adhesive foam blocks made for an actual Jazzmaster guitar, I assembled the guitar and restrung it. Sometime in the future I need to dress the frets as there is some visible play wear, but it's not too bad and can be easily fixed without a refret. I was worried I would need to replace the wiring harness, not knowing what was done to the existing one. For now though, I think the guitar sounds great, and I'll leave it alone. The guitar overall is a pleasure to play and looks beautiful. I understand why folks espouse such admiration for this guitar. It is most definitely warranted. The fit and finish is superb. The neck is easy to play. Once I got the pickups correctly wired and the height adjuster properly for the pickups, I really like the sound that comes out of the guitar. It is one of the better rhythm circuits that I have found on any of the jazz masters that I own so far. It is so damn warm and clear. So. In closing, I would definitely say that this guitar is one of those guitars that punches way above its price point.